Rolling. Boleh. Wow, what's a clap for? <laughs> In this brand new season of The Family Affair, Hello. Hello. four families across Asia live with cameras for months. A supersized Singapore family struggles to stretch the dollar. When you everything multiply by eight, then you really feel it. Like even if two dollars increase or one dollar increase, it, it becomes eight dollars or sixteen dollars. Why does pizza have to be so expensive in Singapore? In China and India, teenage tantrums abound. What is your job in the morning? What is your job in the morning? What is your job in the morning? No, I'm not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. And over in Japan, singlehood burdens aging parents. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. From round-the-clock filming to secret confessions. When I see the bank account, which the three-digit, my wife asked me how, how. <laughs> Find out how these families keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> and how their lives are just like yours. We're doing bad things, don't we? The Family Affair. It's Saturday. Grandma Li Tai Su knows there's no school. But she wants 16 year old Wen Chi Xuan up early to catch up on school work. Alpha,不放嘛,我的天哪。我很多人太睡,早晨多人都不起来。给高考也没到好多时间了,还把他给修理跟不上。一般都是八点半过后开始喊他。有三十四点,因为他居然四点钟才起来下。你说你拉出个
特别正常的去收拾过它，基本都是扔进去就好了，所以导致我现在基本上找不到衣服。我比较喜欢穿牛仔裤，特别是那种破洞破的比较凄惨的，我觉得破洞的穿起来要比较凉快。Well, not everyone agrees with Ji Xuan's fashion sense. 那个关键啊，你路得嘛了，他肯洗他儿子。青少年，青少年啥子年都不得行，青少年，特别是青少年，肯洗他儿不得，被撸不得，肚脐儿撸不得，不要出门，你穿啥裤子不要给我迷路。It's hard to tell. But Grandma Li Dai Xiu and Ji Xuan used to be very close. With both her parents working, Ji Xuan was raised by her grandmother. भाई जी पेस्ट कर लिया तो तू दोबारा आके लेट गया यार कमाल करता है यार हैं चल उठ जा अब तैयार हो जा दुकान पे भी जाना बेटा रात को मैच ना देखते रह करो ना फिर तुम्हारी जाग ही नहीं खुलती तो टाइम देखा कितना हो गया पहले तो मैं डर गया तो फिर एकदम से कोने में चला गया तो गुस्सा होके पापा क्योंकि सबसे ज़्यादा पापा ही डांटते हैं हमें और बाकी और कोई नहीं डांटता ज़्यादा इसलिए पापा का मेरे को डर ज़्यादा है और पापा मेरे को मारते नहीं है लेकिन उनके एक्शन से मैं इतना डर जाता हूँ कि मैं चुप हो जाता हूँ। Breakfast are a lot quieter at the Saito household. Meet Haruka's mother. 58-year-old Yumiko Saito. してるんだなって思いますね。私もママに依存してるし、どうすればなんだ過ごしやすいかとか、また健康でいられるかとか。今日。Haruka is constantly occupied with work, leaving mother Yumiko feeling rather neglected. For the last 30 years, Yumiko has been a housewife. She married Sakaichi Saito when she was 28. Within the first two years, she had three children, Ryoya, Haruka and Yuka. In the last few years, much has changed. Her youngest, Yuka, is married with two children and has moved out. Like most Japanese employees, her two other children, Haruka and Ryoya, work extremely long hours. Even her husband, who's now the director of a real estate company, is also hardly ever at home. うん、最近もっと太ってきて、体力も気力も落ち着かなくなって、ちょっと二人ともまだしばらく家にいそうなので、もうそれはうん、あのいつまでこの子供の世話をしなきゃいけないのっていう。
やっぱり不安はすごくあります。In India, Vipin gave up his career as a mechanical engineer to focus on caring for his children. Bhaiji, nashta le lo yar. Tu fir subah subah mobile me lag gaya hai. Tere ko aur koi kam nahi hai. Mobile le ya wo kis liye hua? Sara din raat bas mobile leke baitha raha. Tere subah subah mobile me kya kam hota hai? Tere ko unse message aane hai bade jaruri. Maine dena nahi hai mobile apne baar rakha karna raat ko. जो माँ का प्यार है वो तो माँ ही दे सकती है मैं तो दे ही नहीं सकता तो हमें भी पता है कि अब हमारे पापा कैसे प्रेस कभी कभार प्रेशर में भी आ जाते हैं और फिर उनको सारा कुछ देखना पड़ता है घर का तो इसलिए वो गुस्सा हो जाते हैं अकेला पन हो गया अब उसके जाने से फाइव मंथ्स अगो विपिन वाज फोर्स टू लीव हिज जॉब His wife Uma, who was suffering from a rare muscle disorder, passed away. बच्चे भी अपनी समस्या उसे ही बताते थे। ते उसे समस्या कोई सलाह लेते थे अब लेने वाला कोई नहीं। जो कभी कम्युनिकेशन बीच का हट गया। मम्मी समझाती पापा को या फिर कभी कभी मम्मी आराम से समझाती पहले या फिर बोलती कि ऐसे मत डाटा करो अभी बच्चे हैं। When 48-year-old Dan and Sue tied the knot, they planned to have kids. But what they didn't plan on was having six of them. When they tell people that I have six kids, that's where they, oh, six, yeah, that's very unusual. I tell people that if on my wedding day I knew that I was going to have six children, I would probably have uh, run away screaming. <laughs> Meet the oldest of the brood. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name's Asher. 18 year old Asher. I'm Isaac. This is my brother Isaac. Then there's 14-year-old Isaac, 16-year-old Abigail, 12-year-old Isaiah, 9-year-old Magdalena, and the baby of the family, 6-year-old Michaela. Welcome to our house. This is our house. Um, it's a five-room HDB flat. With some clever space-saving tips, the 1,400-square-foot home fits all eight of them comfortably. My friend took a look at our shelves and said it looks like a childcare centre <laughs> where they have a lot, you know, the little shelves and all the shoes down there. This is my family. Why, hello. <laughs> so this is actually the master bedroom. The girls live here and um, this, this is a really cool bed that we can actually lift up and, and it doubles as their workspace. This living room space, we can double it up as a bedroom. Actually, the boys sleep here. We gave the largest room to the children and my husband and I actually took the smallest room for ourselves. This is Sue and Dan's bedroom. But most of the time, the entire Ong family squeezes into this room. Everybody squeeze in one room, we'll just lay out mattresses on the floor and then we'll just turn on the aircon and eight people enjoy. <laughs> After Asha was born, I think my maternal instincts were very strong. How was your day? I don't know. I, it's, it was really, really tiring. Yeah. I couldn't bear the thought that somebody else would be caring for him full-time whilst I was at work. Okay. Long story sh short, I, I quit my job. 
Sue no longer works as a school teacher, leaving Dan the sole breadwinner. He supports his family of eight with a monthly income of less than 4,000 US dollars. So utilities aside, feeding the family requires quite a bit of planning. Half of the Ong's monthly budget goes to food alone. Our monthly budget looks like a lot is spent on food because uh, eight mouths. <laughs> Yeah, we eat quite a lot. Always buy two bunches, okay? Because we're the equivalent of two small families, <laughs> right? So this is like for one small family, so this is our family. Xiao Pai Tai. Why are you going to buy the yogurt? <laughs> Four for two. Four for $2, then get more. Yeah. Avocado. Three for three ninety-five is quite a good price. Can we have papaya? Papaya? I think we can get the whole papaya. Okay. Living in Singapore, food food uh, prices have really gone up. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. One sixty is yeah, okay. La. When you everything multiply by eight, then you then you really feel it. Like even if $2 increase or $1 increase, it becomes $8 or $16. Why does pizza have to be so expensive in Singapore? We don't go to restaurants to eat, you know. I'll, I'll try to learn new dishes so that we can actually enjoy restaurant food at home and we don't feel and we can eat a lot more. At 16, Wang Qixuan is the only child of this middle income family. So Qishuan only comes back from boarding school on Saturdays. That's when her parents check on the progress of her other lessons. Even before she started school, Ji Xuan has attended all kinds of extracurricular classes. Rao 
。那没哎，我们在讨论问题呢。然后一旦我不跟他开始说了，他就要开始生气。那他一生气又非要我说话，我一说话他又要生气，我都不晓得该哪能跟他两个说。嗯，也是能够沟通的。现在都像思想童话大众。那他觉得童话的思想呢？都是在尝试去童话我的思想啊！我们在尝试去了解你的思想，好不好？然后了解过后就开始入侵。你给他说，他说不听，你都想吵，但是吵他更不愿意接受，都成了感觉是个恶性循环。拿钱买房子，娶老婆，都是我想的呀，都是觉得他们蛮意思的呀，一点都不有趣，好吗？大人他会觉得自己是对的，他会告诉小孩去像他那么做，但是小孩都会去想一些其他的路，就算是错的，他也会去尝试。有些人的境界，他不一定要被大家所熟知，但是你不能说他不存在，是吧？点都不一样了，完全不一样了。他们想让我去跟他们一样的去看那个东西，所以我都很抗拒跟大家变得一样，我都会觉得那都很没意思的。非要不一样啊？是要不一样哈。因为娃儿也大了嘛，又是个女儿，你不可能，而且女娃只能够整容。耍耍动啊，文具耍不转啊，耍的东西都不是一个东西。听的东西都不一样。哎，发的。娃儿他不能够坚持某些东西。大人他会觉得自己是对的，他会告诉小孩去像他那么做。你你点在哪里嘛？你给我说哈儿嘛。说不清楚，点都不一样啊，完全不一样了。嗯。Ji Xuan's parents are frustrated with her lack of discipline. She's had dancing, music. And calligraphy lessons. But she's given up on all of them. It is a counter-sexual music. It is more difficult to deal with this thing. I think Siha is very similar to that stage. It is more difficult to deal with this thing. Hip-hop. This is what Ji Xuan truly loves. But it's not what her parents want for her. I think that when you're six years old, the person you see in your state is the most self-aware and self-aware, the most self-aware and self-aware. I'm telling you, the most self-aware and self-aware is the most self-aware. I think that being different is a very important thing. I think that being different is a very important thing. I think that being different is a very important thing. 爸爸妈妈，我会红的红的像朵红花，我发誓要做老大。哎，老大就只有气场，老大就是疯了气场。你小秘密，小秘密，对，捂着嘴 ，Let's move to。你现在是觉得你那个年龄是该哪个？肆意挥霍青春吗？所以我在读书啊，四五七岁，除了干那些还要干嘛嘛？那你有认真读书吗？我没有吗？说实话，我是没有觉得你很认真的在读书。In the coming year, 
Jishuan will take the highly competitive college entrance exam. But her grades are slipping. Mother Huaying is worried. Oh,我很明白是去。我能考虑到那么多个方面啊，我也不是是去是。那我可能都是去，是打了。我妈跟我那么聊天过后，我都会觉得特别。比较压抑嘛，都是老觉得他想强迫我去成长。可能是为了我的前途，但是我觉得现在现在那个年龄来说，能拥有一秒自由是吧？一秒啊，我不喜欢长大。你不能，你不能。Nineteen-year-old Purnima is a sophomore in university. She's had to run the household and take care of brother Divyanshu ever since her mother passed away five months ago. Yeah, you want it? Yes, yes. They are going to drink. Both are a combination. Like, the child is a little bit. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. जब वो चली जाएगी शादी होके उसके बाद वो बड़ा हो जाएगा। क्या आप खा तो सही भी। Divyanshu is back from English tuition. It's his weakest subject, and Purnima wants him to buck up. सही कहाँ से यहाँ इंग्लिश टेस्ट में तो आया नहीं है। चल बुक में से पढ़ ले उसे। I was sitting here and I was sitting here. When I was young, I was studying in 4th or 5th, and I was studying in 4th or 5th, and I was studying in 4th or 5th. You were there with a big girl. This is from the starting point. When I was young, in 1st or 2nd, I was studying in 1st or 2nd. Now, when I was with my mom, I was doing such a strict thing. I was doing such a strict thing with her. I was doing such a strict thing with her. I was doing such a strict thing with her. I mean, if she didn't hurt her, she didn't hurt her. She's so bad at handwriting, so she's so bad at writing. According to my mom, she was a little scared from me. She didn't hurt her, she didn't hurt her. 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 I'm going to play this. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Do you want to play? आधा घंटे के लिए तो और कितने देर के लिए आधा घंटा तो चांदे में लग जाता है कहाँ जाने खेलने गली में गली में हाँ कभी कभार भेजते नहीं घरवाले तो मुश्किल से भेजते तो सारा गुस्सा बॉल पे निकालना पड़ता है no, he doesn't share his feelings so fast. Every time I read it, I don't want to send it. And I don't want to send it. 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 I'm trying to spell here. Laurie Lucas. In the Ong family, the six children have to share four mobile phones and two computers. 
D is double C. I'm not so sure. C is. Yeah, but it's wrong. Lori, coolest gal, coolest. I think it's A. Oh yeah, ho. Is it? You're such a brilliant kid. I know. Meg. What? You're not supposed to watch by yourself. Yeah. Come, come outside. We are very strict about the use of internet, especially the content. It's very, it's very cute. Is it new? Oh, no, I don't know this one. We go on a basis of uh, not trusting, and especially if they're not supposed to be, yeah, online on their own. All like screens of like the laptop or the computer should be facing outwards. So that anybody who's walking by can see what what's on the screen. <laughs> what happens when you come across the scene and somebody's kissing? Then we don't want that. We don't want that thing anymore. Yeah, none of the kids have actually stepped into a cinema before. How how did the shooting go? As you Ms. can Patricia see, I am I'm a bit stone from my whole day. So I'm very, so I'm very, 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 very tired. Being the eldest, 18-year-old Asher is given the most freedom. He's allowed to use the phone more, compared to his siblings, who only get one hour of screen time daily. Being 18 years old is about a time where I'm supposed to be able to take care of myself. You know, I'm going to do an Instagram live later. No, but it's not back. I mean, I don't know how many people are going to view it, but who cares? Checking connection. I don't care if you... Okay, just ask me something. Only the oldest two in the family, Asher and Abigail, are allowed their own social media accounts. Oh, okay, come on, guys. Oh, hello again! So, just ask me something, okay? While I edit my work. What's my inspiration for my photos? Um, one of the biggest Instagram accounts that I really like is um, YK, the blue color guy. He really makes really cool stuff. So cute. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> oh that's my Daisy. mother. And I, I really hang, I love hanging out with my family. I feel that he spends way too much time on the screen. New These are my Mar siblings. Oh no. <laughs> we're quite a riot. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're quite a riot. Because Coco never ever does lie. Yep, this is Your slide. family seems uber cool. This is the first time that Asha is live streaming. And his curious younger siblings are drawn in. I was noticing that the nine-year-old Mac, she was talking quite a lot. So I don't know what she would say wrong or anything like that. And revealing too much of uh, personal information on the web. And I'm going to tell Asher to please uh, stop it soon. Asher, we didn't have any rules about this. Okay. We haven't talked about this. Is it wrong? Let's talk about it. It might be wrong. Why? Yeah. As parents, we need to be very vigilant about what, what our children are doing online. Because whatever goes online inevitably will never go away. And you have your younger siblings on you, know? Okay. What if there are perverts out there? As a parent, it is difficult for me to navigate the amount of control especially when I'm trying to juggle different age groups.
これの方が多分当日はいいと思いますでますレンズなんですけど今うちにあるのが22倍なので、うんうん、22倍だとどのぐらい先まで It's only been six months since Haruka took up a new job as a sports TV producer in Tokyo but an upcoming global sports event is about to make Haruka's life more hectic The games of the 32nd Olympiad in 2020 are awarded to the city of Tokyo. でもなんかこんなに自分のやりたくないことをやってるのか来月サーフィンの大会がありまして、はいはい、あのロケお願いできればと思って。はどのくらい去年はなん多分、うん With more experienced producers vying to be part of the prestigious event, the competition will be brutal. やっぱりその限られた枠をそのたくさんのディレクターの中でやっぱり勝ち取らなくちゃいけない。その提案が通らないとやっぱりロケにも行けない。外に出て取材も。でもやっぱりそういう機会を自分で作らなくちゃいけないんだけどなかなか作れてない。やっぱり今土日も休みじゃないからなかなかその友達とも家族とも、まあ、その例えば彼氏がでいる時期もあったんでその彼氏ともなかなかそういう時間一緒に過ごせなくて。パパの働き方みたいなのを理解できるようになったかなって。がその家族のためになるっていうところで一生懸命やってくれたんくれたというかくれてるんだろうなっていうまあ今働いてみてやっぱりあの私も家に帰れない日とかももちろんあるし忙しくて。ただいま。ただいま。明日も朝いつもの時間。午、う、後、ん。わかんない。体調はどう。風邪とかひいてない。うんなんかやっぱりや,や,りやってくれすぎちゃうだからまあ子供が自立していかないみたいな。まあこっちも気を使って彼女が仕事で疲れてる時とかそういう時を、まあまあ、いつもねハードな仕事してからあタイミングを見計らって話しかけたりしててもいざとなるとこう。な舐められちゃってるっていうか。もうこれはいいや。うん、社会人になると、私はバリバリ働いてる人間で、ママはまあねほぼ専業主婦みたいなもんだから。今後は本当にあの机を挟んでお茶を入れてちょっと冷静に話すようなやっぱりなんか価値観とか考え方とか,、まあ、なんか捉え方とかなんかそういうのはある気がするな。At the Ong household, the children head to their study room. The children are homeschooled. Our kids don't go to public school, we actually educate them at home. Maybe some doubts lah, from the elder generation, like Dan's mom also was quite fearful, but they're doing fine. Oh, 
The fact that both Dan and I were trained MOE teachers and choosing to homeschool, actually, it's not because we have any commentary about the public school system, but more so because we want to take charge of our own children's education and having the autonomy to grow our children the way that we deem fit. Sue decides the children's curriculum, but is otherwise quite free and easy about the timetable. In the Ong household, school generally starts after 8 a.m. The children set their own goals and tasks for the day. The next two to three hours are spent doing lessons online. They can do their own work while I have to cook lunch or sometimes I'm doing the laundry is really the book that teaches them. And I come in as a guide. <laughs> the afternoons are spent playing and practicing music. Did you like being homeschooled? Yeah. I really like homeschooling because I don't need to go outside. I don't like traveling. Do you feel like weird? Like other people wearing uniform and then you never wear? I don't like wearing the same thing every day. It's quite boring. Do you still wear the same thing every day, right? Yeah. Do you think you're going to study at home forever? No. Then when do you think you're going to go to school? Poly. You want to go poly? No. <laughs> then why do you think you're going to poly? I don't know. Because I have to grow up anyway. In Singapore, homeschooling is allowed only if a child passes the primary school leaving examination, or PSLE, before 15 years old. Coco, you did only all levels, which is like grade 10. I don't want to go to university. I want to stay home forever. But that's I just what you're thinking it. now. Like when you get that age, you wouldn't think you want to stay home forever. Yeah. But now I want to stay home. Can I take it out? No. If our children don't pass the PSLE, <laughs> uh, we would not be able to home continue homeschooling them and they would be placed in a primary school. Passing isn't enough. There's a minimum standard that they have to reach. And that's why fourth child, Isaiah, is feeling the heat. He will be taking his PSLE later in the year. Chinese PSLE, you have to do oral. The subject I was really scared of was Chinese. Because I can't speak Chinese and I can't write Chinese. I do know a bit, but I'm not very good. Isaiah's three older siblings did not meet the benchmark on their first try. They all managed to clear at the second attempt. We have a different curriculum that we're using. So to suddenly get them to the PSLE uh, track is kind of a switch for them. Mommy sometimes say we have to go to school if we fail, just to scare us a little. Sometimes it terrifies me. The exams are in three months, and this will be Isaiah's second attempt. Then you should do more. Because I already had three SLEs. That's why you need to catch up, because you're going to take again. If Isaiah still doesn't make the grade, he will have to return to a mainstream school. That would... That would make me very sad now. Huh?